BioEden is a, as a stem cell bank. We're banking from teeth. And the Northwest is a real uh, centre of excellence in terms of biotech. From my perspective as the MD of BioEden, Darsbury represents a fantastic opportunity. What we have is we've, we've got purpose-built facilities, or near as damn it, purpose-built facilities. We've got the Darsbury management team are hugely uh, helpful in the way we set up and, and try and run the business with lots of advice um, and input um, that's, that's kind of bias free. They kind of say this, this might be something you're interested in and nine times out of ten that's something we, sh we should be interested in is a very big heads up to a comparatively new and inexperienced management team to perhaps go and look at. Darsbury also offers us, uh, a lot of people come to us, and in any startup company, time is precious. Time and money are the two things. So controlling your costs, so we get very good value for money out of Darsbury. The, the ability to be able to take a meeting room at short notice is always available. And you can take a small meeting room, because you're meeting one or two people, all the way up to a boardroom. And then beyond that, there are lecture facilities that are available. And again, the lecture facilities are fantastic because what we're trying to do is, part of our, part of our role is, is, is medical education, so you can invite groups of physicians or dentists and lecture them in a purpose-built lecture facility. And there are some other soft things that perhaps make Darsbury an interesting uh, place to work. All of the team work very hard to be supportive, so Arthur, who's our security man at the front desk, works incredibly hard at just keeping you aware of what's going on. That ability to get letters signed for when nobody's in the office is fantastic. The other sort of things that are just the informal networks, I guess. There's a pharmaceutical company based in this building. My background has been 23 years in big pharma in terms of R&D. Conversation in a lift, a cup of coffee at Starbucks, you perhaps need to speak to so-and-so. Can you have a look at those numbers? That doesn't quite make sense. I think you should ask for this. Those, those networks are created and facilitated. Now some people would say, oh you shouldn't discuss your business. The big problem with lots of businesses isn't coming up with the idea. There are lots and lots of good ideas. It's how do we make something happen? The skill in lots of businesses is the execution. And, and inventors and entrepreneurs aren't necessarily good at the execution. And Daresbury tries to create a network where there are some brilliant inventors, but there are also people who are good at executing. And if I offer a 10 minutes worth of advice, or an hour's worth of advice, the recipient of that advice can then go to the management team in Daresbury and say, Jim has said this, this, and this need to be sorted. Do you know someone who can help? And again, nine times out of 10, somebody within the management team at Daresbury, Mark, Paul, John, will say, actually, this would be, this, this would be the person I would speak to.